Now let's have a look at a real practical example in which we can use the laminarity of the flow to really uh, get a real uh, useful function in the microfluidics. And the example I'm showing is that of pinched flow fractionation. And what does this mean? Well, basically this is a filter system. I have a sample liquid coming from the top here and I have drawn that liquid in blue. And that blue liquid, of course it doesn't have to be blue, but I do that here for just for um, clar clarification. The liquid contains different sizes of beads. In this case I made small green beads and large red beads. And what I want to do with this device is that I want to split. I want to have several outputs. So I have one input for my main flow and I want to have several outputs. And I want to have each of the outputs have a particle with a different size. So I want to size sort the particles in my flow that are mixed. Now how can you do that with such a device? You send in the liquid from the top at a certain flow Q, not too high flow. And at the same time from the bottom I send in another flow of liquid. I have drawn that liquid here in yellow color. And the flow from the bottom is higher than the one from the top. So what happens? The streamlines, of course, the flow comes together. And this, they don't mix. So the, the blue flow goes here. It's lower flow than the yellow. So the, you see that the yellow will have more area here than the blue here because the flow input is, is simply larger for the yellow than for the blue flow. Yeah? And now what is interesting is to look at where do all the streamlines go? So the streamline, you know, the, the contact point between the blue and the yellow will go this way here. Now let's follow what a little green ball does, a green uh, bullet. So they are placed a little bit everywhere, this green, uh, uh, the green um, particles. So they follow their, their streamline here. And what happens here is that here we can see the streamline. The streamline here of this green bullet become, comes very, very close to this, very close to the wall here. And once it passes, this is the streamlined original streamline of the green bullets. Actually, it goes to the top here. You see, here it's in the middle. So here it must also be in the middle between these two points. So this is the streamline of the blue, of where the green particle originally was. But my green particles are not there anymore. What has happened? Well, the green particles, it's laminar flow, so they try to follow their streamline, but because they, the streamline is getting so close to the wall here, to the pinched wall, that the green particles, actually the wall pushes the particle away from their original streamline to a new streamline, a little bit to the side of it. And this new streamline is very close here, but as the liquid here suddenly expands, you see now clearly that the, all the green particles have been pushed to a new streamline which is laying here. So all the green particles will now be moved from their original streamline to a nearby streamline here. And if I take a red particle that is even bigger than the green particle, the red particle, the center of it can is forced to even be further away from the wall than the green ones. You see, the, the green particle, the center line, can come rather close to the wall, the red one not. So the wall will push the red particle, the red particle again also being originally on the topmost layer here, but it will be pushed all the way until its streamline comes to this line here. And where this line comes from, this is actually a streamline that was originally in the yellow liquid. So I see that my red bullet is now pushed into the yellow liquid and is forced on this streamline. So I see that depending on the size of my particles, they will be pushed further and further away from the wall and they will end up on different streamlines, totally dependent on their size. And now the only thing I have to do is just take a number of different outputs here. I can take as many as I want and basically in every output I will have a certain range of sizes of particles. This is called pinched flow fractionation. Okay, before we continue we will do a little quiz. <coughs> here you see three different examples of, of fluidic systems that you uh, encounter in your daily life. We see a guy drinking a cocktail through a straw we see a heart that's, that's pumping flow in a human body. And we see a girl playing a flute. And I want you to estimate whether the flow in these systems is laminar or turbulent. <laughs> 